Emax's new Tiny Hawk Lite is the latest ready to fly drone kit that contains everything you need in order to fly an FPV drone. Your drone, the batteries, the charger, the controller, the goggles, everything and best of all this comes in at a low price of only 159.99 if you're looking to become a drone pilot you're gonna have to make a lot of choices where to start what to buy what type of kit do you want to assemble and then how long do you want to be able to spend to learn how to set it all up you have all these little options everyone's going to tell you to start with something small but what do you go with then you're gonna have to buy a controller and a set of goggles and by the time you assemble all these things you're well over the thousand dollar range but what if i told you in 2025 emax came out with a kit that can get you started for well under 200 dollars, and you get the controller you get a set of goggles and you get a drone a charger a battery everything that you're going to need in order to get started both the controller and the goggles slash monitor yes you can pull the screen off of the goggles and make it an external monitor both of these charge with usb-c and the battery charges with usb be regular now in order to test how beginner friendly this thing is i made a special effort not to read any of the instructions although the instructions are quite nice and very nicely laid out in fact one of the nice things about emacs's beginner kits is that they include labels on every switch at what everything does i didn't even read those i just took the battery plugged it in put the drone on the counter and then started hitting switch until I eventually got to the arm switch. Now, if it would have read, I would have noticed that it's the front left switch. Then it was armed. Then I just started flying. It was that easy. I was literally able to get going in like about 15 seconds. And if you've been flying for any length of time, you know how significant that startup time was. In order for me to take my first flight with my first drone, I must have spent months dozens and dozens of hours and now emacs makes it easy for you to do in just a few seconds that means if you want to get someone else flying have you ever been that person that says well you're going to want to buy this but how much budget do you have if you have this amount of budget you're going to want to go for express LRS. if you have this amount of budget you're going to want to go analog if you have this much money you're going to want to go hg0 forget about all that start here under 200 bucks learn to fly if you like it enough then you can graduate and start assembling some of this other gear but guess what not everyone is going to want to go down that rabbit hole maybe you just want to get a little brother or a, or a little nephew or a little cousin started this is the kit that you get them you don't have to go spending two thousand dollars on a fancy dji kit that's now banned in the us anyway this is it it's super easy to fly and we actually flew this thing on our mini global qualifier and it performed amazing. That's right, we have two surveyors in our club. Of course, you may already be familiar with Lucky, the number one volunteer at International Open who lays out all the tracks for that event. And now we have Aaron here as well. There's only two kind of countries in the world, okay? Yeah. Those of you the metric system. In America. And those that have been on the moon, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the concern the concern is the cable it's supposed to be a poe for it so power over ethernet so it's not designed for it it's actually going to probably inhibit the actual unit so well but you that's, just got to look at how many wires are in it speaking it's smart words it's <laughs> throwing off on camera <laughs> Now this is, how do they get the price down so low? They're using a few modified versions of this kit. This looks very familiar like Emax's standard analog kit, but they have trimmed out the DVR recording ability. So all the clips that you see recorded were recorded on my Orca goggles now. So you won't be able to use this to record your footage, but that's okay. That's how they keep the price down. And on here, you can see that they're actually using brushed motors. That means it's gonna have a little bit less power to wait it's gonna fly a little bit slower but what do you want to do when you're a beginner you want to fly a little bit slow all of these things on the table are like the equivalent of a race car and if you're giving somebody their first car do you really go out and buy them a Lamborghini no you buy them something a little bit slower so they can learn and dip their toe and hit their foot on the gas without flying into the next dimension and that's going to be what this thing's for now we actually flew it on the track and hey it actually handled itself pretty good make no mistake you're not going to be winning 
any races with one of these beginner kits, but that's not what it's for. It's about learning how to fly. Then you can select one of Emacs's other crafts like this little smaller Nano Hawk light, or you can get one of their freestyle Tiny Hawks and go from there. The possibilities are endless. The tough part about starting FPV though is that it's hard to tell somebody to spend over a thousand dollars on a hobby that they may not enjoy, but it's much more palatable to have somebody start by spending $170. And if it's not for them, no problem. Pass it on to the next pilot. And because everything works so well, look at the durability of this thing. Part of the reason why it's not so twitchy is because there is a little bit of weight, but Emacs knows that as a beginner, you're likely to crash this a little bit. So they made it super durable, but also very, it has like a little bit of flexibility. So if you crash this into the wall, your mom is not likely to ground you because you probably won't put a big hole anywhere. And that's why we tell most people to start with one of these tinier, smaller, tiny whoop sized crafts. Tiny Hawk Light flying right around this Limonis piling it, one of the best pilots in the world and Betaflight developer. He's gonna see if he can help me out with a tune. Okay, Vaughn just flew some serious slaps with this Tiny Hawk light. Let's go ask him what he did to change the tune. Okay, so what did you do to fix the tune? I had a little bit of D-term. I added, actually it was D-term was zero. I don't know if that's correct. Yeah. I added D-term, I cranked up P-term, and um, now it flies way better. Nice. But yeah, I mean. So if you start to get a little bit more practice, you can adjust the tune to yeah. get a little more control. Yeah, because previously you couldn't do like a sharp moves like if you want to turn you couldn't do that it just sags and goes down now at least it can do that i think i put like two laps yeah those are clean laps too yeah until it wasn't clean oh well, yeah learning how to fly a drone is hard it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of cost it takes a lot of confusion on what to buy but emacs is coming out with this new kit john didn't sign for this race Ah, qualified. I'm going to go do it John. afterwards, so that way you have to manually add me. That's the best thing you can do for all race directors. <laughs> so they have a new kit, Tiny Hawk Lights, coming out. They're going back to old school. Look at that, brushed motors. But Dang. how much is this all going to cost? It's going to have battery, the drone itself, your controller, and an inexpensive yeah. set of oh. goggles. How much do you think a full Bina Fly kit is going to cost? Uh, 300 hundred and sixty nine dollars so if you don't have much money but you want to learn how to fly and you know what this is not going to have as much power as your modern racing things but i'm going to take it on this tiny little gq track and yeah, see yeah so that is john's excuse why he's why he's suck it's so easy i was like this is for beginners so i'm not going to read any instructions i just turned that on plug this in and I was flying in less than two seconds. There's beginner mode, intermediate mode, and expert mode. Which I'm, mode are you going to be flying in? I'm going to fly in beginner mode because I suck at whoops. <laughs> it's very mode. easy to fly. Nice. Look at that. They got a modern prop, even though it's an old school motor. And this is a little bit heavier and larger by modern standards. But guess what? Some of those lightweight whoops are so twitchy. You hit a little bit of throttle and it's going to fly straight into your wall. This, this is pretty is, durable. This thing is like flexible, oh, but yeah, you so could that it doesn't crack. You could hit your wall all day with this thing. All right, John will be testing it. Today. Yeah, I'm going to hit everything. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you looking to get started flying a drone? If so, check out the link in the description below to get one of these Emacs kits right here. Or if you want a fully specced out kit where you want to make no, where you want to spare no expense, you can watch some of my other videos too. Thanks guys. All right, I'm gonna get video evidence of me helping to set up the track so no one can accuse me of not helping. Video evidence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you just need, this is one more gate. just like race go. Yep, it's a little bigger. Um, just a little just bigger. Here. One more gate, all right. Oh, so race gates are smaller than race, but, the race? but they don't have a fabric. Yeah, no so fabric. Race gates are the size of this, right? They're 24 by 24. These are 33 <laughs> by 24. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this an uh, angle? <laughs>
These connectors are real ones, not the cheap ones I tried to print out. They're actually pretty. Oh, your printed connectors? They're pretty expensive. Yeah, but the printed ones kind of suck. He's talking to the camera, not you. <laughs> I'm talking to you too. I actually don't 